So privacy policies are notoriously unreadable, right? They're written in legalese often, and um, well, no one reads them anyway. I don't think that privacy policies are aimed at individuals per se. They're aimed at more data protection authorities, for example, or motivated individuals, academics like myself, to check um, practices of a company. It is important uh, that, you know, by agreeing to use a service, it, the burden is on you as an individual to, every time you go back to that website, app or service, you have to recheck the privacy policy to see if it hasn't updated. Uh, and that by simply using the services, you consent to whatever is in the privacy policy, which is, of course, absurd. And I think a big, um, uh, a big plus of the GDPR is that it gives individuals rights and protections regardless of what is in the privacy policy. There are certain limits to what a company can say or what would hold up in court. And overall, I think privacy policies are aimed at an expert audience rather than individuals. And so those privacy policies are not necessarily aimed to be read by every single user, but rather by those authorities and academics and journalists and people that want to uh, see if, um, if, if those companies abide by the law. And so privacy policies are sort of the, the, the first step in, in making that possible. Privacy policies enable authorities and everyone else to verify uh, compliance with the law and then hopefully produce trust among users and, and, and citizens in general that services are actually uh, compliant.